What's up YouTube, how are you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my most requested video, my room tour. So here we are guys and we are back for version 5 of my setup video, my room tour video and like I said in the intro this really is my most requested video. I get asked at least once a day to do an update of this video so here we are and obviously being version 5 there has been a whole bunch of iterations before this and I've actually moved house, I've changed desks, I've changed screens, I've moved around the room so if you want to go back through those it can be quite interesting and I'll leave a link to all of those down in the description below. Now before we start I'm just going to do a bit of housekeeping because quite often some of the comments ask me these questions so I'm going to leave these down below so you don't have to ask them in the comments section. So first up a lot of people ask me what my job is now I've made a whole video about this and I will leave a link again down in the description below feel free to go and check out that video the next one is a house tour video I have got a tour of my entire house this is obviously just my office and that video was done just over a month ago and again I'll leave a link down in the description below for that video now also I've recently had a whole new custom desk built for me by hand and there's a few videos that go along with that. There's one that actually shows you the entire design and build process, literally the entire manufacturing process and I'll leave a link down in the description again below to that video and then there is a full detailed tour of the desk as well. Today I'll go into a tiny little bit of information but if you want full detail about the desk and the full desk tour, how it all comes together, where all the wires go, all that kind of stuff. Again, that link is down in the description below. And last but not least, my vlog channel. I do day-to-day -day updates about what I'm doing, where I'm going, uh, little projects that I'm working on, like the desk was fully covered over on the vlog channel. And I'll leave a link down in the description below for that. If you go ahead and subscribe to that channel, that would really help me out. And then, sorry, one very last thing, Twitter and Facebook, the links are down below if you want to follow me and have a chat on my Facebook page or on Twitter. So here we are guys, I'm going to pick the camera up and let's get on with the room tour. So let's start off with the desk itself. So along the bottom row here we've got three 27 inch Apple cinema displays with that 1440p resolution. And then along the top there we've actually got three 27 inch Dell displays. And again I'll leave a link to the unboxing video of those screens down below. And they're just straight 1080p displays. The reason I didn't go for the 1440p displays on the top was because all I really need to do is monitor information along those top three displays and not only would the text be too small at 1440 but I just really don't need that kind of resolution. Now the desk itself like I say there's a link down in the description below of a full desk tour but this desk is custom made for me by my designs and Along the bottom here we've got my Bose Companion 5 speakers so I've got one just in there and then another one just along the other side. And then I've also got the Zoom H2N I believe microphone and then there is the controller there for the Bose speakers. On the desk itself I've got the full size wired Apple keyboard purely because I don't like the wireless one, I like to have the full number pad etc. And then we've got the magic mouse along with the just mobile alu pad that I use with it because the mouse doesn't work on this shiny desk surface. Now just along here we've got the MacBook Pro Retina from late last year. This one has 16 gigabytes of RAM, half a terabyte SSD and again there's videos of that on the channel. Now here I've actually got a remote control for all of the lighting in this room and I've got lots of lights all around the place. You can see there's one there just behind the desk and I can just simply press this button, turn them on or off. And then also over here by the TV I've got another one which again I can just turn off at the press of a button. Now this little remote you can actually pick this up with a bunch of mains adapters on uh, eBay or Amazon for about five or six pounds so about ten dollars. Very very cheap. I'll just show you the actual brand of this one and they're literally just imports from China. Extremely cheap but very 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 useful. Now down here we've got my Mac Pro, this is a 2010 Mac Pro, it's got 32 gig of RAM dual AMD graphics cards along with two 512 gigabyte SSDs and two 4 terabyte 
uh, SATA hard drives in a RAID 0, so plenty of storage in there. Now, the chair, a lot of people ask me about the chair. I'm actually going to be replacing this chair very, very soon, but this one was actually just a very cheap, I think it was called um, Ergometrics or something like that from uh, Viking. But I've seen you can actually pick this up from Amazon and eBay all over the place. It's just an ergonomic chair, not ridiculously expensive, about 100 to 150 pounds, 150 to 200 dollars. So not an expensive chair, but very, very nice and, and has worked perfectly well over the last couple of years. So next up, uh, in the corner there, we've got my uh, Katana sword. That is real, fully sharpened as well, made by a famous uh, sword maker uh, in Japan. And then down here, just on the floor at the moment, I've got two NAS devices. The one on the left is a Synology DS412 Plus, and my personal preference for all NAS devices is Synology. They are absolutely fantastic. And that one's actually got four three terabyte hard drives in it in a RAID 5 configuration. And then we've also got a QNAP box down there as well uh, with a couple of hard drives in just to mirror some information from the other one for full resilience. Just plugged in here, I've got a home plug adapter. Uh, I think it is a Devolo one. And again, there's a video for that uh, on the channel. Just gives me ethernet uh, type speeds over the, eth over the uh, power cables in the room. So that really is the desk fully covered off there. Like I say, if you want to see it in more detail, check out my desk tour video. And then we work our way around to this area of the room and you can see a whole bunch of lighting going off over there in the corner. So first up, uh, we've got my son's uh, guitar down there, which he plays along to a little gift from EE, my chosen network of choice. And then we've got this desk here. Now I've actually converted the desk into a kind of storage unit. The little flap here that you can see on the front is actually from some blinds which I cut and then just stuck to the back of it. So I can actually just uh, pick that up and then I've got a whole load of storage behind that, a lot of storage boxes uh, and also my Xbox 360 as well just on top of those. Now, on the desk itself, and this isn't always laid out this way, but for the purposes of the video, first up, we've got a 46 inch uh, full HD uh, LCD panel from Sharp, great little TV that I've had for a few years. And then on the desk itself in the corner, got a camera, Nikon Coolpix P7700, which I absolutely love because it is basically a compact size camera that, that has a whole bunch of manual controls along with the ability to pull out the screen and flip that around. But the great thing about it is, is it also has an external microphone input, which not many have. Now next up to that we've got the Roku box uh, with my car key sitting on top there. Uh, here we've got this really beautiful Sonoro docking station which has got fantastic audio quality and again there is a video for that on the channel. And then we've got an iPad 4 just in the front just charging at the moment. And then just behind there we've got my Xbox Connect. I don't personally play any games but my son loves it. And then here on the table we've got some of my phones, uh, the Galaxy S4, Galaxy Note 2, the Xperia Z, the Oppo Find 5, the iPhone 5 and also the HTC One as well. And then if we work our way over to the right hand corner, uh, we've got the Apple TV full 1080p version and then we've also got the Nexus 4 on the wireless charging orb. And then I've got this little unit here which just holds the iPod Classic and that is, I think it's a 160 gigabyte iPod Classic. Now just to the right here, that little black box there is actually my saxophone which I play. And then this is my kind of little, little charging station here. So I've got a bunch of these different clips with a whole bunch of different chargers. And then that gives me the ability to charge some of my devices. So first up, these are some cases that I use. They are the Mujo Originals and I've got one for most devices and they're fantastic. I've got the Amazon Kindle HD, another iPad 4, the Nexus 10 and then the Asus Infinity Pad, I believe it's called, or Prime, uh, which is a, a fantastic little device there. Now, if we work our way along, uh, I've got this cabinet here. So this is just literally just a, a kind of standard white cabinet. And then on the top, we've got my printer. And then we've also got a Sony speaker. And this speaker is absolutely fantastic. It is a full Wi-Fi speaker. It also has a battery in it. So you can take that outside and it lasts for a long time. And the sound quality is absolutely spectacular. Now this little cabinet here itself, inside here I just keep a whole bunch of stuff. 
I'll just give you a quick look inside. So at the top, there's like a lot of products that I'm just kind of reviewing, um, bits and pieces. There's the cable drop adapters there that I use for my cabling. Uh, some of my watches just in there. Um, just some boxes and various bits and pieces. And then the next shelf is kind of all my video stuff. So just a slider of various bits and pieces, an LCD screen, um, all kinds of stuff in there. Some more stuff down on the bottom shelf and then I've got my kind of charging area down there along with a whole bunch of removable uh, network hard drives as well that I use for backup and whatnot. And also just in the bottom you can see my GoPro Hero 3 just recharging there. So a nice little cupboard. I believe about 400 pounds you can get this from uh, Amazon and uh, it's very, very good quality and also gives you some good storage. Now over here on the side, got an old Apple iBook that I like to keep, it's in absolutely mint condition. And then we've also got this lava lamp here, which I quite like to turn on from time to time. And then on the wall, we've got an iMac mirror. You can see me just in there, hello. Um, the iMac mirror itself is made of an actual front of an iMac uh, G5, I think it is. So uh, turned that into a mirror and that looks kind of nice. I really like that. And then up a bit, we've got a the canvas of Bruce Lee and also Bob Marley, who really are kind of my two idols. Now, just to show you what's on the other side of the room over there, um, I've got a leather sofa here with a little cushion in it. And then if we just back up a bit, you can see I've actually got a desk that I've made out of two old Power Mac G5 cases. And then on the top there, we've got a 13 inch 2012 MacBook Air and also the dreaded Microsoft Surface, the RT version just there. Now underneath the window sill here, I've got my Arsenal picture. I'm a big gooner. So one of my favorite pictures there of when we did actually have a decent team. Uh, just on the side there, got a little book of me and my fiance as well. And then the actual blind itself is a very, very cheap blind from home base and it's a full blackout blind. So you don't get any light through that whatsoever. Now over in the right hand corner, I've got an old iMac G4 on a shelf and I absolutely love the iMac G4, such a beautiful computer. And it's just a shame they don't kind of make them like that anymore. Uh, on the wall here, just a few more po posters. Got a Bruce Lee Think Different poster, another little Bruce Lee picture, and then also Al Pacino. And I'll just show you the difference this blind makes. Um, it's very, very cheap, like I say, from home base, but does an absolutely fantastic job of blocking all the light. And when you're making videos, it's much nicer to control the light yourself rather than having the nature do it for you. Uh, just outside there, that's my car, six series uh, BMW, just outside the window there. And then if we work our way around, I've got a whole set of speakers, uh, sorry, shelves up there on the wall with just kind of various bits of uh, memorabilia and whatnot. Uh, got a little pit, little little statue of Steve Jobs, a little Android, a couple of uh, my headphones, uh, little pictures of my son. And then just next to that, I've also got a guitar as well that my dad gave to me. So that just looks kind of nice hanging up there on the wall. Now, just over there in the corner, I've just got some storage. Uh, my Nikon D7000 DSLR over there, which has been a great camcorder for me. Uh, sorry, great camera for me. And then also my first pair of Muay Thai gloves, along with a new pair of MMA mitts as well. And then, like I say, just some storage. And then also my bags that I use for my camera and also my uh, laptops and mobile devices, etc. Uh, leather sofa, like I said, just over there. And I use this really just to kind of chill out in when I want to actually watch the TV over here or maybe play Xbox with my son. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. Uh, like I say, a lot of the links to all of this stuff are down in the description below. If you want a full tour of my desk and also the build of the desk itself, I'll leave them down below as well. And you can see <laughs> the window reflecting now, which is why I got those blackout blinds as well. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button for me. It really, really helps me out. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.